So again, we're in Lando Sprint again today, it's a sunny day in Wales, and we've got the club chairman, Paul, and who else have we got? Introduce yourself. Club champion, Damien Bradley. <laughs> So it's your first time at Lando, is that right, Damien? That's right, yeah. yeah and how complete you, novice. And how are you find it? Yes. I don't know about complete novice. <laughs> I don't think I'll agree with that. It's it's good. It's obviously a bit upsetting. Paul beating me, you know, and my, my visit across here into Wales, and I think it's, you know it's not really very sportsmanly of him. I think he needs to just park it up now. That'd be great. No, it's it's a great track. Really good. I was. Um, I thought, in all honesty, I thought it was going to be a bit Mickey Mouse, um, but yeah. it really isn't. It really isn't. It's really challenging. It's quite technical. There's so many different aspects to it. Um, lots of pickup on tyres. I'm sure you'll probably show on your video. How yeah. Tyres, but, uh, <laughs> but no, it's 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 great. It's a great event. I'm lovely to be down here with the club. It's really good to be out with you guys, even yourself, Paul. <laughs> uh, no, that's fantastic. But you have had quite a lot of success this season so far. Um, do you want to tell us about Brooklands? Yeah, Brooklands was great. So FTD at Brooklands, which is great, a very historic venue. Uh, one of those venues I think that we need to support, a bit like Brighton Speed Trials. It's one of the places that we need the entries for, otherwise these, these venues are going to disappear. You know, okay. Barton Manor is an example as well, is yeah. another uh, another venue that uh, could could well disappear unless it's supported. So, um, so yeah, so uh, that was good. Gersten was probably my biggest weekend of the year, the British National Meet there, to get the record there. We wanted that record for a long time. Um, and I spent two weeks rebuilding the engine for the car because the cylinder had cracked. Um, right. So I had the engine rebuilt and then I rebuilt it myself at home in the garage. So yeah, uh, that was a really challenging couple of weeks. So up the hill there um, to, we thought if we could get uh, into the low 31s, uh, we'd be really happy uh, to do a 30.6. Um, was, was pretty it was fantastic. Even better, so, yeah. yeah, it was even better. So um, yeah, so a fantastic record, moved it on by quite a chunk and then Stephen backed it up by the same amount the following day. Oh, so he brilliant. did a 30.69 the following day, exactly the same time that I did on the Saturday. And what are your plans for the rest of the season? Um, so we've got the uh, Tin Top Challenge that's uh, running up together with the British Hill Climb Championship. So we're going to be okay. doing that. So that's uh, uh, Harewood next weekend. Uh, yeah. We've got to meet at Shelsley in August and then September at Loden Park. I've got a Quick 60 event coming up, which is a cool event. Yeah. Um, so keen for the to show the club flags there because that's 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 really really cool because there's all kinds of cars there. You can go there with like, engine swaps, big aero, time yeah. attack cars there, super lap Scotland cars, and lots of cars that aren't eligible for HSA can go to Quick 60. So it's a great. It, it's a, that's a really. And really it's cool a pretty good system as well, isn't it? That yeah. Um, you can if you pour on one one run. You won't get through to the next. That's it. So it's like um, uh, this. You, you, uh, you qualify for the next round. Qualify really for the next round. So it's uh, the old. It's quite um, a good addition to the sport, isn't it? You've got to finish first. To finish first, you've got to finish. You know? Yeah. Um, so that's that, that's good. Bit of a knockout thing. So I ran out the all last year. You know what I mean? Forgetting race suits, running. Out I was going to remind you of that. Yeah. Yeah. So all of those things. Um, so yeah. So uh, and then the Peugeot 205 of uh, uh, Spooks Motorsport. They won. Um, took the win away in the £250 prize money. <laughs> so, and you're um, open to take that back? I'd like to take that back, yeah. yeah. So I just remember to put petrol in, but um, the, car's been, the car's been amazing this year. We've done more adjustments, more amendments, there's more things going on with it. Uh, new Alcon brakes arrive next week, so they're oh, really great. special. Um, they're a really nice setup. Uh, yeah, and just, just keep going. But, uh, oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. The other event to, for both of you to keep make you aware of is the HSA event in October in Kerbera, which is a double header weekend. So you've got a double lap one day, <laughs> figure of eight the next. Um, if you're not going there um, under the HSA, you could go there under the club because the club's eligible to enter that event. Yeah. Um, and so all the best for the rest of the season and have a friendly battle this afternoon with the chairman. Yeah. And we'll update on, <laughs> on who comes out on top late, a bit later on. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. Thank you.